Welcome to my morning report. Charles Prose is on Wednesday, the 6th of December, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hansit Markets. There's been a, uh, a fairly sizable risk off move coming through these markets, and um, that's coming as we've seen equities in the states selling off. Uh, since tax reform got voted through the Senate last weekend, um, equities have been really struggling and um, it seems as though there's a bit of a buy and rumour sell on fact drive coming on but also we've got the fact that um, the US debt ceiling is, is again sort of rearing its head as a bit of an issue um, the uh, US government was shut down uh, unless they come to an agreement to extend the debt ceiling the government was shut down uh, on Friday and um, the market is sort of playing that into a bit of a safe haven shift what we're seeing is gold rebounding a little bit yen strength uh, dominantly being the uh, sort of main move but also these equity markets are falling away quite sharply interesting that uh, the DAX is underperforming um, and that's um, the DAX is uh, underperforming as a sort of um, a global uh, growth sort of indicator I suppose um, being a massive exporting index but also the fact that uh, FTSE 100 is um, positive well not positive but certainly outperforming on the back of sterling weakness. Sterling continues to remain under pressure as it has done since Tuesday when Theresa May um, was unable to secure a deal uh, for moving on through the Brexit negotiations and um, political infighting in the Conservative Party uh, sort of um, really does um, sort of uh, continue to ramp up the pressure on Theresa May. Uh, talk that um, the DUP could possibly even withdraw its support for her um, minority government. So um, subsequently, we're seeing sterling continue to fall away. Um, so uh, generally speaking, a bit risk off through these markets today. Interesting that we are, though, seeing this dollar, which is holding up fairly well. And despite the fact that we're seeing treasury yields falling away, this uh, sort of move into safe haven place is pulling treasury yields lower. Uh, certainly on the 10-year, and look at that, 52 basis points is now the handle on the 2 10 spread um, as this yield curve continues to flatten, um, and uh, that is, um, generally speaking, not going to, certainly not going to help drive dollar outperformance um, on a on a medium to longer term basis anyway, but we are seeing a little bit of dollar support coming through today nonetheless. Um, this is the S&P 500, which fell away yesterday, and um, is actually down now three days in a row since uh, tax reform, uh, or certainly since um, uh, well, Friday was lower, Monday and Tuesday. Um, anyway, so um, what else we've we got to look forward to today? Well, we've got a little bit of uh, U.S. employment data on the ADP, and we've got the Bank of Canada as well. Um, ADP this afternoon is expected to come out at 185. Um, some people say ADP is a bit of a signal for payrolls, although it's um, a bit of potted history as to whether that is the case. Uh, it doesn't always work out that way, but it gives you a, a slight indication. Um, and it seems as though that uh, payrolls, um, if uh, if ADP is uh, to be expected to be taken as anything, uh, payrolls could be sort of settling down a little bit. Uh, but uh, then we've got the um, Bank of Canada, not expected to do much. Uh, 1% is the expected uh, move there, which is uh, holding steady. And then we've got the EIA inventories. Um, had the API inventories yesterday, which um, showed a little bit of concern on the distillates and gasoline stocks. Um, so sort of... Um, the expectation is for distillates and gasoline stocks to build on the uh, on the EIA as well. Now, uh, can the crude stocks, um, can the uh, inventories fall, um, sort of make up for that move? That would be the interesting uh, move today on oil. So uh, my chart today is dollar Swiss, and um, it's interesting that we've seen dollar Swiss rising as the dollar has sort of gained a little bit of traction. A little bit of a safe haven move early doors today. Um, initially, sort of pulled dollar Swissy lower, but it seems as though that the dollar is sort of regaining a bit of the upper hand um, on this one. Now, what we have seen is this trend channel starting to break. Uh, this downtrend channel starting to break higher. Um, now, this reaction high here that we saw at 98.80 has now been breached on an intraday basis to 98.87, I think it is, and uh, today's. Oh, where's the crosshair? You can't get it annoyingly. But it is 98.87, as you can see here. Um, 
and that is sort of resistance and if you sort of start to break up above the 98 92 23.6% fib level then that certainly would suggest that the market is turning around because the fibs have had a fairly reasonable sort of indicator on this uh, sort of turning lower in uh, late November around that fib level didn't it so uh, a break up above 98 92 uh, on that fib level would start to sort of turn the corner it sort of be be above this 21 day moving average which has been a gauge hasn't it since September initially supportive became resistance ha having broken below became resistance and again acted a bit of resistance yesterday but again breaking if that can break through and close above that would that start to turn that around and again an indication of uh, an improvement look at these momentum indicators the stochastics accelerating higher the MACD lines on the brink of a cross and the RSI above 50 all these are indicators that are suggesting that something is turning around on dollar Swissy and uh, yes if we can as I said if we can see this breakout on a near-term basis there's a bit of a pivot isn't there around this sort of 98.80 level in the last um, for a couple of weeks really again a decisive move through that would open up the next resistance which is around 9945 9950 uh, area which is the uh, these reaction highs here and again another bit of a pivot around 9950 so uh, some interesting moves on dollar swissy it, can it make the breakout um, it looks as though it's building for it especially the uh, performance today considering there is a safe haven sh um, shift in the market but um, nothing yet confirmed. So I wish you good luck in your trading. I'll speak to you later.